So with the introduction of the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and the Z Flip 5, there was also a few other devices that were introduced, including the Galaxy Watch 6, which I have in my hands today and which I'll be going over. And I have the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic 47 millimeters, which is also Bluetooth plus LTE, which means that this is the top version, the biggest one, the most expensive one amongst the Watch 6 lineup. Without a doubt, one of the most notable features that we've been all waiting for was the reintroduction of the rotating bezel, which just makes navigation that much easier. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what we have today. So as I mentioned, this is the 47 seven millimeter watch which has Wi-Fi GPS LTE all that stuff included so up front we have the watch here in front of us we have uh, I think the paperwork which is stuck to the box <laughs> all right so we have uh, some paperwork over here and uh, yes we also have uh, the charging cable this time the charging cable though is actually a USB-C charging cable as compared to the previous one which uh, was a USB-A and then we also have the magnetic charger here for the watch now looking at the watch I would say that the design really hasn't changed much because this is a circular design there's really not a lot of room to wiggle uh, on a circular design but I should mention that this is the heaviest watch that Samsung has made which is around 59 to 60 uh, grams which is quite heavy the classic watch 6 is now also the biggest watch that Samsung makes and this is actually just slightly bigger than the previous one coming from 46.5 millimeters now to 47 uh, millimeters and this actually also has a thinner bezel this time which Samsung claims to be 30% thinner than the previous watches and because of that we also have a bigger OLED display which now measures at 1.5 inches diagonally. The resolution is also better to match the bigger display so now this the OLED display here comes at 480 by 480 uh, pixels. If we look at the straps I think this is a much better strap than last year. Uh, we also have a new technique that Samsung is using which is a single push button design which is easier to take off the bands this time. Uh, we also have a, a slew of sensors this time so we have the heart rate monitor and we also have new electrode sensors which i'm going to talk about in a little bit after two generations of running the exynos w920 the galaxy watch 6 now comes with a more powerful and more efficient exynos w930 chip which samsung claims to be 18 percent faster the watch overall also feels a bit snappier the new chip is still based on a five nanometer platform which is the same as last year's i should also mention that the chipset is actually overclocked this time from 1.18 going to 1.4 gigahertz and there's also a little bit of a ram update so from 1.5 gigs of ram this now has 2 gigs of ram although the internal storage is still 16 gigs of ram if we talk about the sensors the watch 6 is packed with a ton of pre-existing sensors like the heart rate monitor barometer thermometer gyro and an all new 3d hall sensor which samsung didn't specify but 3d hall sensors are usually used for accurate tracking and positioning or gps i should also mention that the temperature sensor can be used for more than just skin temperature this time with the new updates the temperature sensor will allow you to measure your food and also the surface of the water so if you're about to go for a swim you can actually uh, measure the temperature without actually having to dip your watch in the water which is which i don't know how samsung has also incorporated a new bioactive sensor and what that does is basically just measures your body composition and at the end of the day it just body shams you I'm just kidding. Uh, well, it, <laughs> so well, what it actually does is that it has two electrodes here on this side, and uh, within 15 seconds, it actually is able to measure over 2,400 measurements just in 15 seconds. It, it measures things like body mass index. Uh, it also measures stuff like uh, lean muscle mass, and there's a lot of other things that will then give you a little bit of an idea of what your current body state is and then you can obviously then start making different changes different lifestyle changes if we talk about health measurements then the uh, classic watch 6 just like any other watch has uh, temperature sensors it has oxygen uh, concentration sensors it has uh, ecg sensors and it also has a irregular uh, heartbeat detecting uh, sensor but uh, one of the things that i don't like is that uh, you actually have to have uh, the samsung health app installed to be able to see the stats on that. So if you have any uh, if you have any other Android phone, you can't actually see those stats. You have to go into the specific Samsung App Store and uh, download the Samsung Health app 
to be able to use these features. One more thing I should mention that the ECG and the uh, irregular heartbeat uh, sensor is actually only limited to specific countries and gladly we have it here in the UAE, but in countries that it's not actually supported, it will still give you a, a, a notification if it senses um, a irregular heartbeat, but you can't actually just go into the application or or and start measuring. So for example, if you're not feeling well, or if you think that you're having heart palpitations or there's something wrong with you, you can't just go and check it yourself. It's gonna tell you on its own. And uh, that's one of the things that I, I kind of didn't like, um, but uh, nevertheless, it's still there. And I wish that it also introduces this to other countries, especially where Samsung is actually officially available. So that's one of the things that I actually don't understand yet. And Apple does the same thing it it limits uh, the ECG function to geographical locations, which I really haven't understood why. We also have a new fall detection sensor this time. So if you fall and you need to call emergency services, but that's also set up to only specific uh, regions and you can only set it up to call emergency services if your country or your region supports it. Now the battery life uh, is something that is kind of a bit of a mixed feeling because in, in some terms it's actually an upgrade, but in other terms it's actually kind of like a downgrade. So this actually actually has a smaller battery as compared to the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Although this is an upgrade from the classic Watch 4, in terms of capacity, it now has 425 milliampers as compared to the classic Watch 4's 361 milliampers. But it is a downgrade from the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, which has 590 milliampers. On a test that we did, we ran this pretty much uh, until it was empty. And that test included uh, a wake to raise. It also included every 15 minutes interval of uh, heart rate measurements and it also included two to three hours of workout or activity uh, without the always on display and this gave us around 48 hours of battery life until it completely shut off. If we actually had the always on display turned on then that time was cut in half so it only gave us around 24 hours and if we compare this to the Galaxy Watch uh, 5 Pro it gave us around 72 hours which is pretty much one more day, so three days as compared to two days, and then one day if you have always on display on. Now, what is the price and what is the conclusion on the Galaxy Watch uh, 6 Classic? So, uh, I mean, this is the best watch that Samsung has made up till date, and specifically, the 47 millimeter version is the one that has the most upgrades because of the thinner bezel, the bigger display, the better resolution, and the slightly better battery life. This is probably uh, the best watch that Samsung actually has in its lineup. But uh, when it comes to the, the, the price, that's where it, uh, you, you kind of question a little bit. So this specific watch, this specific model, it comes at 2000 dirhams on the official Samsung website. And that, that's a lot of money. And uh, if we compare the uh, the Apple Watch Series 8, which is the latest that they have. I'm not going to include the Ultra because this really doesn't compare with the Ultra. So I'm going to kind of, it doesn't even compare with the Apple Watch uh, Series 8, but that's the closest one that we have to compare this with. And that comes at around uh, 1700 dirhams, uh, 2000 dirhams actually for the, for the LTE version and uh, um, 1700 dirhams for the non-LTE version. Uh, for the non-LTE version of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, this actually comes at 1800 dirhams, so it's 100 dirhams more than the, um, than the Apple Watch Series 8. Um, and uh, again, it's, it's, it's kind of, uh, it's a, your decision to make. If you're an Android user, then yes, go for the uh, Galaxy Watch 6, but you have to consider that you won't be able to get the features uh, the health features, the sensors, and the measurements that this actually provides you if you don't have a Samsung phone. So that's kind of a bummer. And then on the other side, people will say that the Apple Watch doesn't pair with anything else apart from the iPhone, and that's right. But what, what, how is this any different than that? It kind of balances is up. I don't like the fact that this is limited to only Samsung, although I do understand why. Um, and I, I do get the mentality that Apple actually does the same with its Apple watches, so I do understand that. Uh, but again, you have to consider that there are other watches that are supported by Android. For example, the Pixel Watch or other watches like the Huawei uh, GT watches or even the Honor watches that are uh, more competitive, have a better battery life 
Uh, but again, at the end of the day, it's really your choice. 2,000 dirhams for this specific watch. And if you want to go for the non-LTE version, then uh, 1,800 dirhams. And if you want to go for the 43 millimeter version, then that costs around 1,700 dirhams. I think it's, it's what it starts with, with the, only for the Bluetooth version and 1,700 something dirhams for the LTE version. So there you have it guys, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know uh, what you think about this watch and whether this is something that you would consider buying uh, when you have other options as well for the price that it comes with. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.